Hi, I'm Michael Smith for Nevada Trails. Tonight I have a very special show. I have my buddy Chris Kay, the trailing troubadour. Good Just, to see you, it, my friend. It's been, uh, it's been an awesome ride. Um, I met you a while back, and uh, you took me on a tour of the, of the uh, trailing troubadour going around um, Carson City. Can you tell me more about how that got started and to kind of explain to the audience who haven't seen you what the trailing troubadour is? Well, I guess every performer needs a stage. That's what it's all about. And uh, for me, I found that uh, um, over the years, uh, I have so much freedom when I just uh, strap my guitar on and put, I'll show you later how that works. Uh, with my, it's all portable, it's all, everything is battery operated, got a, uh, got a headset microphone that I'm working and um, a built-in drum machine on my guitar, which is very cool. So I can really sound like a, like a full, full band almost on the street. And uh, I found that uh, there's a freedom out there that I really appreciate. Uh, and um, it's something that I've uh, just cultivated over the years. And um, uh, it just seems to get bigger and better every year. So. Well, it was, it was kind of funny. I, I had known you uh, uh, before that. So I knew you had skills. So you were shooting, you were, you were playing at the Nugget and uh, what, what, Laxalt Park is it called? Laxalt Plaza. Plaza, right, right, right next to the Nugget. Right. So I brought my young intern to uh, see you and we had a nice shoot. And um, then you guys kind of hit it off and he did a tour with you of the Traveling Troubadour of how many blocks does that tour go? Oh yes, we, we started, gosh, we started all the way at Heidi's and worked our way all the way up to the state capitol and back in a, an hour long, over an hour long show that was just phenomenal that I have to give Justin, let's give his, give him his name. Oh yeah, Justin Lieberman. We want to thank him for, for his work on that. That was phenomenal. And he's a talented musician as oh, well. Yes. And you were a great mentor as well and an, an inspiring person. But I thought if you want to see that on YouTube, it's worth your time because oh, yes. some of those songs are, and the, the, the reaction of people and then just, uh, I remember I talked to a guy from uh, Nevada Magazine and he, um, he, he loved when you were doing Lexile Plaza. That was his uh, Tuesdays because he really enjoyed it. And then, so I, you know, then you got some PR out of it and right. didn't end up in uh, a big... Oh, they did a wonderful article on me. I'm just going to show you the cover here with Joe Satriani on it. And uh, this is their Events and Shows magazine. Now, this came out in uh, January and February of 2016. And here is the legend of the traveling troubadour. And maybe we <laughs> get, a, get a close shot of this later. But th this was a phenomenal article. Uh, that, I mean, you're the first one. I have to give you credit. You're the first one that came and interviewed me and got me uh, shooting right on the street. But then, after many times playing outside their window there at Laxalt Plaza, you know that right there is the home of Nevada Magazine, right there. Mm -hmm. They asked me to be part of it. And this article was so phenomenal because this, this Invention Shows magazine that they came out with uh, ended up on every airplane uh, going into Reno and Las Vegas for, for those two months, January and February 2016. So this ended up all over the world. It was a phenomenal article. Well, the man from Nevada Magazine, it was his last name is Brown. I think he was a, he's a nice guy. So oh, yeah, I, was, I have some really good friends there at Nevada Magazine to this day. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we, they let us shoot some of the background uh, uh, shots were from Nevada Magazine's photographers. Mm -hmm. But always, that was such an uh, uh, awesome thing for tourism that you do. H how many times have you done that tour? Well, let's, Have you actually counted? Well, let's figure. It's been since 2011. I started on the street and at least six months out of the year, depending, depending on the weather. Uh, and uh, so figure 180 days at least uh, out there in the sunshine doing it. And now that I'm retired, and we'll talk about that in a bit, yeah. um, I'm, I'm trying to get out there year round. Well, I tell you, the, you know, what a thing for tourism you're doing. I, I try to tell people, we're in a tourism area, be nice to tourists. Let them, you know, people have to stop being grouchy and treat them well, because they're here, it might be the once in a lifetime vacation. And you don't know if, uh, if they can't, they're, if they're driving, they can't find their way. You know, just be a little helpful. You know, don't beep and give them the finger. Just be nice to them and know they're, they're looking for a place, you know. And, and, but you're a, a good example of people trying to help our tourism in our region. Well, you know what? I, I, I promote Carson City as the greatest little capital city in the whole wide world. It is. <laughs> That's what it's all about. I think it's time for a song. 
This is my hometown And it feels so good to be here In my hometown Where I'll never want to roam This is my hometown The old familiar faces The place where I got started The place that I call Take me back, conductor, won't you take me back today? I've been living in this fairy tale, a place they call L.A. And I miss the smell of the buckwheats, the kettle on the stove. So take me back this minute, oh I surely want to go. Back to my hometown Cause it feels so good to be here In my hometown Where I'll never want to roam Oh, this is my hometown The old familiar faces The place where I got started The place that I call home this train is bound for Rainbow Town It stops at the pot of gold But it's had so many detours The dream is growing old Well, I traveled near and I traveled far But there's one thing I have found Happiness lies in my backyard Right here in my own town This is my hometown And it feels so good to be here In my hometown Where I'll never, never want to roll This is my hometown old familiar faces the place where I got started the place that I call <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, I have to have to admit, tell the truth. I was born in Reno, <laughs> but I I do consider Carson my new hometown now. That uh, that is my my stage, downtown Carson as the traveling troubadour. So well, you're a Nevada native, so that counts. Yes, I was. I was born here in 1950. So yeah, just, so proud to be a Nevada native. Just too. a boy. <laughs> Probably I'm gonna jump back real far up your. Um, your first group you're involved, you had a gold record. Well, you heard it all the way back in Wisconsin, was it? No, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. You were in Atlanta, Georgia, and when I you heard bought it. a copy of it. You did really? Yeah, it was a little, you know, forty-five. I had a forty a little thingy, and I, I, I'm still talking to people to this day who have have heard that song yeah. somewhere or have a copy of it. Yeah, and I've only got one left, one oh. copy left for me. Because, so, well, it's a silly comment, but I have no idea what the the, the, the other side was. Well, there was two sides. Well, I guess we better do it now, huh? Well, yeah. Well, don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> we want to sell some more. Don't and we? maybe I should. I'm going to grab the 12. St we're going to do a little different sound on this one with okay. the 12 string. Um, actually, this ended up being one of the first Americana songs ever written and recorded. And uh, uh, so proud that the band that I was in, uh, the Manzanita Jungle, that's, that's the name of the group. Yeah. And we had this hit, and you heard it. Even back in Atlanta, fantastic. But um, the, the neat thing about it is this song was written by uh, Tim Gore Langton. And Tim Gore Langton and Mike Marvin, who was our manager 
and uh, you know promoted the, the record. They're both now members of the Kingston Trio. Oh, so wow. they never stop performing. They never stop working. And uh, I'm so proud that, that that I can sing this song right now and and show you that that first hit. Here, let's go back to 1969 gold. Here, KCBN <laughs> Radio. And here's the man's Anita Jungle. Well, I up and ran from Kansas when the grain was growing tall. And I swore that I'd return before the very first winds of fall. But now I won't be back until Christmas till I ever come back at all. And I'm gonna make my way, gonna make my way. Colorado sun, Colorado sun, watch me run as I make my way, gonna make my way, gonna make my way. Well, I rolled across the border like a fugitive still unknown. And maybe I've got a rugged past, but the future is all my own. It's my first day on the highway. I'm going back to California. And I'm gonna make my way, gonna make my way. Colorado sun, Colorado sun. Watch me run as I make my way Gonna make my way Gonna make my way Yeah! Well, I know a girl in Denver I know a girl in Reno too And maybe I'll stop and see them both When I come a-rolling through But then maybe I won't stop driving Till I make the San Francisco Bay And I'm gonna make my way Gonna make my way Colorado sun Colorado Watch me run as I make my way Gonna make my way Gonna make my way Gonna make my way Colorado Sun Let it ring! <laughs> Woo! Oh, still to this day, a great song lasts forever, doesn't it? Well, didn't I have wow. a good ear at 13? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I had a good ear at 13. I could tell what, oh. what's, what's good, and I knew uh, you know, I, had, uh, I had pretty good taste. Well, I had no idea that, you know, how, how, how big that record was. But, hey, I'm still, uh, still never getting any royalties off of it. What the heck? <laughs> well, your talent is, is shared, and you, and you love sharing your talent with a lot of people, and I do appreciate it. I remember... Uh, just reminded just the other day of the Nevada Day Parade. Oh. One of my uh, things I love to do is I have a, a, a persona of Lucky Duck. and to, I entertain kids at the, at the mansion for years. and So I was Lucky Duck, which kind of looks like a big bird, right. uh, in, the, in the parade. And he was doing his traveling troubadour, and we did the whole parade. And don't forget who drove the car. Well, my, uh, my intern was supposed to show and he did not. So your wife got volunteered to drive the car. My wife came in, two th was it was the 2012 parade, I'm pretty sure where we're in. I yes, probably, yes, yeah. Yes, it was. And then uh, I remember I was right around, um, oh, was that uh, St. John, St. what's that, St. Uh, St. Charles Hotel. Uh -huh. A kid came out of the shadows and punched me in the ribs. Remember that? Oh my goodness. It, you know, it, the Nevada Day Parade, I thought, wow, this is gonna be an adventure. <laughs> but you get caught up 
there's so many things going on at the same. Right in front of us, there was guys with muskets going off. Right behind us, there was, <laughs> there was, there was cars revving their motors up. So you, we kind of got lost in the shuffle, well, I thought. There was, there was uh, you know, fumes from the cars. <laughs> yeah, the fumes <laughs> coming from the cars coming at and then, us. I remember the, uh, the, 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 the well, we had the car we had the car in front of us to buffet the, and we were behind the, behind the car. And then... Um, the cameraman shot the car and didn't shoot us. You know, so we didn't get any glory out of it. Oh, yeah. But uh, your wife was a trooper because it takes about two or three hours to get to the parade part. Oh, oh yes. And then, and then the, the the intern didn't show. So, but she was a trooper. She did the whole thing, and and then that was. Uh, uh, we did our thing. We entertained. We did our job. The show must go on. That December, right after that parade. Yeah. Kim and I had a family vacation in Hawaii. And it was wonderful. Well, she was a special and then lady. She passed away. Yeah, I know. Five months later. Well, I, see how special it was. I had a, um, a food closet, and uh, this young man and his beautiful wife um, cooked a Thanksgiving dinner for me because she knew my wife was working and I'd be by myself. So she cooked this fantastic dinner. I mean, the best cook you could even think about. And um, so. After we ate, us men are going to watch the football game. And it happened to be the Lions. I'm from Detroit. <laughs> Detroit Lions is from my team. So I'm uh, laid back. You know, watch, we're watching the game, drinking beer. You know, like men and your wife's spoiling us with the food and stuff. And then she puts it all in this beautiful Tupperware and says, I'm going to give this to your charity. And I knew of a family that had no food. Oh. I knew a family had no food. So what do I do? Watch the game? So... You went up and gave the food that Kim had cooked. My wife, Kim, the one thing she told me, every time I came back from doing the traveling troubadour, I came back in a better mood than when I left. Of course. That's why I continue to do it. It's your passion. <sighs> so I always I remember I, uh, I walked up the flight of stairs. There was a family in Tahoe. And she had everything in, in really expensive Tupperware. And, and everything was perfect. And I guess when I walked in, it was surreal. It was like going into, um, you know, the Grinch that stole Christmas, how there wasn't a crumb in the house. There was a, a, a grandmother sitting there, a guy, they had like glasses of water. I didn't even see any, any tea or nothing. And I, I gave him the thing and I was trying not to, you just kind of give and go kind of thing. Yes. And then uh, I heard a teenager go, Yahoo! <laughs> And, we're gonna you know, have we're gonna have Thanksgiving thanks to Kim. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And I still um, uh, get thank yous from them. The uh, the people that I gave it to, she graduated from school. She's supporting her family, better off than she was as a student. But imagine having a the, being the breadwinner, and you're, she's like 24, 25. So things that your wife did will live in in history in my mind. So what a great family. Let's do a tribute to Kim here. Yeah. What do you say? Great person. Oh, don't you worry, don't you fret There'll be some good times for you, yeah Don't you wonder where to stay You'll find some place along the way Maybe not tonight, but someday soon you'll see the light as it shines before you, taking everything in time. And when you do, you'll see you're not far from knowing who and what you are and knowing makes it easy on your mind. Yes, knowing makes it easy on your mind. Tomorrow is just another door. And it ain't so much you're asking for. A quiet place to call your own. Maybe someday go and know Maybe not tonight But someday soon you'll see the light As it shines before you 
taking everything in time and when you do you'll see you're not far from knowing who and what you are and knowing makes it easy on your mind yes knowing makes it easy on your mind Ooh. drops way above the chimney tops that's where you'll find me maybe not tonight but someday soon you'll see the light as it shines before you taking everything in time and when you do you'll see you're not far from knowing who and what you are and knowing makes it easy on your mind yes knowing makes it easy on your mind so don't you worry don't you fret There'll be some good times for you, yeah. Don't you wonder where you're gonna stay. You'll find some place along the way. Somewhere over the rainbow. Blue birds fly, birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? I if tiny little blue birds fly. Beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can I? That is awesome. <sighs> I, I feel like we need to take a break. Oh, <laughs> I need, I need that for sure. Thank you. And uh, you can see my life fell apart after she left. Oh, well, I, uh, you uh, regrouped and did quite well. Uh, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> That's Thank why you. I chose this picture, by the way. You did? Yeah, I've been lucky since I met you. You know what that is? 
A four leaf clover. Not, not with Michael Smith. A six leaf clover. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. But in any case, um... you were there to host her celebration of life. I cried. And I thank you for that. I cried the whole time I couldn't see your script. You remember that? I made it big and huge so you could read it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was heavy, heavy font, and I was so emotional. I, I, I cried through the whole thing, and I, I don't know if I helped or hurt the. Um, oh, it was a wonderful ceremony, and I will make sure you get a copy of that. Yeah, and what happened? You give me a copy of the show, I'll get you a copy of that. Well, we'll, we'll work a deal. But what happens is Justin gave me a copy, and then I, I guess he needed some other copies, so he took mine back and, and uh, uh -huh. gave it to uh, your family and friends, probably. But what a road we've been on. Well, and then it kind of uh, culminated for me when I retired uh, at the end of uh, 2017. So it's been almost two years now for me yeah. in retirement. And, um, I found that my music uh, has led me in other areas too. Um, I've been on a spiritual journey, of course, all this time. And I and really thought that was good for you. And that's, that's been so good for me. And it kind of got me into um, performing in uh, uh, different venues. I, I do a lot of uh, nursing homes now with my music. Mm -hmm. And um, I also, um, I just did a, an amazing ceremony at First United Methodist Church in Carson. And, it, and this is going to be a perfect song for it. Um, well, it we're going to have to uh, uh, wrap up the song pretty, or this, this show pretty soon. Can you fade, oh. it out, fade it? We can fade it out with the credits. Okay, let's do that. Just fade it out okay, with the credits. Okay, this is this is for the blessing of the animals, and this is for anyone who ever lost a pet. It's called man's best friend. Man's best friend doesn't ask a lot. All that's needed, you've already got. Your attention and your time, true affection and you'll find so much more in return. Just when you thought you'd nothing left, to learn Just tear my heart out My best friend's passed away The words never got in the way We found other ways to communicate Oh, it's too late finally the end for man's best friend man's best friend doesn't need too much some daily bread and a gentle touch and now a day to play Walk along the way In a place to sleep Low maintenance Low upkeep Just tear my heart out My best friend's passed away The words never got in the way We found other ways to communicate. Now it's too late. It's finally the end. Oh, it's too late. Finally the end for man's best friend. Thank you.